ready? All right. Good evening. The facts presented at the hearing today were overwhelming and compelling. They were overwhelming as to the President's abuses of power, the President's abuse of Congress, uh, the President's betrayal of his oath under the Constitution. They were overwhelming, and uh, they were overwhelming in that they clearly show, and all the, well, the witnesses testified that they meet all the requirements for, Im for impeachment, that they meet all the requirements envisioned by the framers for impeachment, that impeachment, in fact, was put in the Constitution to protect against the President who would act as this one has. The evidence is so, so uh, obvious, so overwhelming, that the Republicans did not really present or try to present a factual defense. All they kept talking about was uh, process. They pointed out that I have propounded in the past, I've talked in the past about a three-part test of impeachability. And as you heard in my closing statement, this situation meets all three tests. The President committed impeachable offenses. They were important impeachable offenses. They go to the, the heart of our constitutional republic. They threaten the survival of democracy itself and the integrity of free elections. And a majority of the people and of the, and of the House, I believe, understand that. Th those are the three tests. Um, the committee will take the information we received today, and we will proceed uh, pursuant to House Resolution 660 and the impeachment procedures contained within it. Uh, we will receive uh, evidence, more evidence, and we will conduct the proper hearings and uh, um, period. Thank you very much. Mr. Member, how decided to impeach? When will you have the hearing? Any other members care to expand on what we want?